What time is it? It's science time! An ice cube melts because it gains heat energy from the surrounding area. We can take this, place it on a plate, and watch the ice cube eventually turn into a liquid as it gains heat energy. But this is going to take a long time. We're going to take two pieces of ice, put it on each one of the plates to see what happens. I want you to observe and pay close attention. Okay, these are about the same size. And the instant we put the ice onto the melting plates, the one starts to melt super ultra fast. And the question is, why? What could be different between those plates? They're both black. They both have these rubber gaskets on the outside. This ice cube's not melting. This ice cube is melting super incredibly fast. So we know this is gaining heat energy, but it's, it's coming from where? That's the question. Where is the heat energy coming from? Well, the pucks or the melting plates are made from different materials. This one here is made from a metal. It's a really good conductor of heat energy. That means it gives off heat energy easily and it absorbs heat energy easily. This here is an insulator. It's actually made of styrofoam. That means it's going to insulate and prevent the ice cube from gaining heat energy. That's why this one doesn't melt and that's why this one melted really fast. What's really interesting, if I lift this up, you can see with the thermal camera that the table is super blue. And that's because as the puck is losing heat energy to the ice cube, it's also absorbing heat energy from the table. So we have heat energy going from the, the puck to the ice cube, and then from the table to the puck, and it keeps transferring. And what's interesting, we can look this one up here, and we can look at the table and see that they are not the same. That the puck that was insulating definitely did not lose as much heat energy. Thanks for being part of our crew today and checking out this short clip from DIY Science Time. If you like this clip and you want to see more exciting science, check out the full versions right here on the channel. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting DIY Science Time.